Though the law is being criticized by journalists, Representative Earl Earhart believes it will benefit athletic programs. He says, it just allows us to play on the same field as Alabama and everyone else. We reached out to the University of Alabama this morning, who gave us this statement. In short, they believe the response time for public records requests do not give universities a competitive advantage. Right. Athletic Director Greg McGarity had no further comments than his previous media statements. No, I've all, Claude's got my statement on that. I, I really have nothing to add over really what I've said on that. There's nothing really to add there. Tom Kleinlein, director of athletics at Georgia Southern, provided us with this statement. The passing of Senate Bill 323 helps us from an administrative standpoint as we have more time to prepare. However, I do not see any benefits from a recruiting standpoint or any angle that gives us a competitive advantage. But Georgia is not the first state to have a law like this. North Carolina, Florida, and Alabama all lack a specific time frame from which an agency must respond to public records request. This can lead to issues in the journalistic process when trying to gather information. I'm troubled by it. I think from a policy perspective, it's a bad idea. Um, the, the, the problem with it to me comes down to the fact that when you have breaking news situations, particularly where you have things that are of the moment, then it will be discretionary upon the athletic association and the athletics department to release that information. It should be noted that some universities with a history of covering up NCAA issues are in states that already have similar laws in place. The University of North Carolina has been the subject of many NCAA debates with their football and basketball teams. In North Carolina, agencies only need to respond as promptly as possible. Florida State has been at the front of cover-up criticism with the many Jameis Winston controversies. In Florida, there is no specific time limit, but journalists can complain if the request takes an unreasonably long time. Brett Homer, Grady News Source.